Hello and welcome back to Vintage Farming. As you can see, we are straight back into the corn harvest, uh, essentially where we left off at uh, the end of the last episode, although we were doing some production work over at the old mill uh, when we did end the last episode. So now we're back into the field and we might as well get the last of the corn here sorted. I think what I'd like to do for the rest of October, because really October is pretty well finished once the harvest is done. Um, however, we do have oat, we do have corn, and we're going to have, and I, but we must have some honey that we can bring down, and then we can actually start our cereal production, which is very, very exciting. Now, the alfalfa here, I think I will leave until next month, uh, regardless. I don't, I think this is the first month it's been ready. Um, yeah, sometimes I just forget where, what stage my crops are at, but unless they're ready to harvest like this one is, or ready to continue harvesting, as you can know, as you see, we've done so much of it already. But um, yeah, so I think we might wait until November anyways, because, uh, there's not going to be all that much on, and I do believe there is one more stage of uh, ready to harvest, I suppose you could say, one one extra growth stage beyond. So I think we'll wait for that. Uh, but as I say, with the corn and the delivering of the corn, I hope and I hope and also don't hope that we can fit the rest of the hopper of the harvester into the lorry. But I don't, I don't know for certain. So I'll have to wait and see. Um, but I think the best thing we can do, just to sort of uh, wrap up this harvest, uh, is get it done in a nice little time lapse. a relatively uh, quick little ending to this harvest and we have 65% of a combine so that is much more than I was expecting to get about just over 4200 liters will it fit into the lorry I think it will yeah should fit no problem to be honest but that that's fine because then at least we'll have exactly how we'll know exactly how much we get out of this field and, uh, and then we can reference that to the oat as well that we're going to get in the future and then more corn as well. I'll get some put near here the front just to level it all out and pretty close though, 94% so 21,000 litres, 21 to 18. That is pretty good. So that's done, that is done for this field. So we'll just took the, uh, the harvester off to the side here for now. Let's get it tucked away around the back side of this, these houses here. And there we go. Right, let's go. Was on four times speed for some reason, that's weird. Right, let's get into the lorry, fire it up. And we will take this corn down to the mill. I'm just trying to think, the oat is all down there if I'm not mistaken. So I'll add this in, and uh, and then we'll see what we have for honey as well. Um, I do. I would like to think that we'll have enough to kind of get the production in the way at least. But I, yeah, I don't know. We we definitely need more um, more beehives. That's definitely something that we need to do. Um, as far as where to put them, I'll probably just keep stacking them kind of back towards where the ones are already and then just keep kind of building along there and then maybe I'll find another area as well 
that all the brakes on this are not all that great. Didn't want to smash into that lad. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> as far as the bees, uh, beehives themselves are concerned, yeah, we'll we'll have a we'll have a good look around for that. Um, and then in the uh, in the meantime, for the because I don't think the bees are really producing all that much in the winter time. So as far as uh, honey production, it's mostly going to be in well anything but winter really if I'm not mistaken um, I don't think they produce even in in real life I don't think that, that bees will produce uh, honey during the winter and if they do it's a much smaller production amount of course um, but I think they just kind of survive in the winter but I could be wrong about that just to keep themselves warm in the hive well keep the queen warm at least anyways there we go so let's get that corn in let's have a look at our production menu look at that we've got two harvested fields we've got this one growing 34 as well growing 32 growing as well right where are we here right so nearly the exact same amount so for cereal it is perfectly two to two uh, to one honey so the corn going in I think will be at about what did I say 21 218 or something like that um, we'll find out in just a moment here but yes we are missing the honey now which I know we have some but look at that it's almost perfect that is nice so if we look at our fields though we see that we do have a massive field of oat here and uh, this one now being done, so 33 will be corn and see I would like to put 31 as corn again but we've just done it so I think maybe we could do sunflowers in 31 uh, just to be able to I guess switch it up a bit 34 does require a weeding as well so that's what else we can do this month we'll do the weeding uh, we'll do we'll bring the honey first though so we can get that started as much as we can uh, spuds are still going strong everything here is selling as well this can I uh, will take it back to the farm might as well at least um, yeah let's go on then right we'll take this to the farm and we'll sort out the honey all right we are back now getting the zill lorry all set up here so that we can load up some honey now i did mention as well for um flatbed lorries i was looking for something a bit bigger that's not that one i do want to keep that one i'm, I'm not going to get rid of the zill simply because it is useful for feeding chickens and uh, just the odd sort of thing here and there as far as uh, relocating bulk loads of things even spuds not not a bad shout that um honey i don't think has a bulk sort of like texture i suppose you'd say um so we should be fine to load the honey there's a, there is only a pallet and a half at the moment but that's just at the moment we will we will certainly get more soon um but yeah it's, uh, it's going to be a very small amount so we really won't be getting much cereal straight away, but we can start the production, which is very nice. Watch yourself there, chickens. Once we get more, um, I also don't know how much honey these hives are producing. Um, because oh, why? What's going on? That can't be too heavy. Oh, good. It was just, it was just stuck. Oh, it is. Wow. I, I mean, I guess they are in glass jars as well, so that could be. Oh, bloody chickens! You cheeky chicken. Cheekiest chickens. Right, we'll just get this. They love to climb on things. Yes. We'll be underneath things for some reason. They just love that. Anyways, this can now go over to the... Is that good? Oh, missed. There we go. Uh, this can now go over to the mill. So we'll take it down there and see you in a moment. All right, here goes the honey. It should start collecting as soon as we get nearby. Indeed, indeed it is. And it is in. Uh, for now, we can just probably leave that there. Let's go to production menu and see. Hang on. I think mustard is actually 
Oh, we should get selling that before the price drops even more. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that sorted this month as well. Coach Express, where is that? Oh, that's just up here, isn't it? Yeah, right there. Okay, that's really nice and close. Uh, right, what am I doing? Where is our cereal? We can officially start the cereal production. That is cool. And we've got one liter of it. Wow. Brilliant. Okay, that's done there. We need to... Oh, actually, do we want to load that into the lorry? Or do we want to use... Maybe we should just use the trailer instead. I think it's just easier to load onto it. Yeah. Right, what tractor is unoccupied? Right, we can use the... Uh, we'll just use the John Deere, actually. I don't think we've used the... Oh, it's no, it's so much slower. Right, go on then. We'll use the, uh... Here we go. I was going to give this all a clean first, so let's do that. But yeah, we can still use tractor and trailer. We don't always have to use a lorry for flatbedding. And it's not like it's that far. I mean, that's very close there. But even the mill itself is not very far away. So I don't mind uh, doing trips with, uh... With truck and trailer. Oh, sorry, tr uh, tractor and trailer. Right, get the drill cleaned up. That trailer that I'm on about is right in there. So we will uh, probably just put the drill away and then get loading up. We do have the John Deere uh, skid steer there for ease of shifting those pallets. Hopefully it is all easy as all that. Uh, but we shall see very shortly. Right, that's good for now. Let's get this shifted back in its little hole. Because it does kind of have an unofficial home in this lean-to bit because it is uh, the only thing that can kind of fit this drill anyways. Oh my, I've made a right mess here. Yeah, you see how it's like the perfect fit for it. Anything else there is just too, uh, yeah, takes up too much space. Although being a uh, shorter hitch or a shorter bar, really, tow, tow bar, I find that it's a bit more difficult to reverse, especially with it being the width of the shed. <laughs> Anyways, we are good there. Bad bloody chickens. Always running in front. But that's to be expected when they're in the yard. I suppose that's my fault for having them. <laughs> right. Um... I think we should probably line up like this just for ease of loading. That's not ease. That's bad. No more collisions. We'll try not to collide anymore. Right, we'll just leave that there. We'll shut the engine for now. It should be good. Um, right, can we load this whole lot? Let's see. Can we do a look? Oh, right. Yeah, a proper forklift would have been good here. I wonder if we should swap rolls, put this at the mill, and then put the forklift here. No, 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 because we are not doing pallets here anymore. This is a one-off thing. This will be the, the first and last. Well, not the first. We did it before, but the last time. Wait, how many? Oh, wow. Oh, no. Not wow. Bad wow. It's, it's okay. I think that's... I think it's fine. It's it's fine-ish. Oh my word. Perfect. Look at that. Now as long as we don't... It's quite dark in this little area. There we go. As long as we don't uh, crash anymore, as I said then we should be fine to get these on here. This is a very small uh, skid steer as well. It's quite small. So having having it do this job is not the best thing. That should be fine though. But it is maneuverable and that's what we're after. Now how do we rectify this mess here? I suppose we go in at an angle as well. Oh my. You know what? Just nice and easy really does tend to do the uh, the trick there. Now let's just 
just see how this performs. So if we can do stacks of three like we're doing, then we'll have this done in no time. And that'll be a nice another £10,000 in, which I think we could probably use for, uh, for more beehives. Uh, all paying off loans, actually. But we're going to get so much money in here shortly uh, once we really get the uh, soup production away and we get the um, mostly the soup, the cereal as well. I just go around this way and give that a bit of a nudge. So it's a bit more level. Yeah, I'm very pleased that I opted to have these sell directly from the farm shop because it just makes it that much easier to deal with, to be honest. Ooh. Yeah, it really is very uh, eager to turn, in it? Right, so as I say, if I can get stack three high uh, for each thing, then we should have this dealt with very quickly. Here we go, let's get this mustard sold. The other beauty of this trailer is that it actually can uh, sell things without having to take them off. So yeah, it's quite nice to have. Anyways, we get, did get a nice small cash injection there of about 10,000-ish pounds, uh, give or take, maybe nine or so, eight or nine. Um, yeah, I also find that the pedestrians still are mental. They will just turn around uh, indecisively and say no I really meant to go the other way and then turn around again mate you need to calm down there uh, and then yeah go back the other way so yeah so I'm sure they'll clear out once we stop stopping um, but we'll see what happens we'll see what happens anyways that uh, did go quite well as far as uh, efficiency and all and the nice thing here is what well, not gonna make that turn the nice thing here as well is that we now have so much more room uh, for parking as well, parking kit up, because now that we're not spawning any sort of uh, pallets out of here, we can uh, just tuck this right in there, which will be very handy to do. Um, I don't know what else we'd use this trailer for. I suppose probably uh, bales, but that's about it really. Um, I think I'll just leave the whole setup in here for now. Uh, now, as I said, we do want to get some weeding done, but let's have a look at the forecast of uncertainty. Um, oh, not till evening. Not till we'd be done anyways, so... Go over here, find our... We'll use our Z-Tour. Seems to be the favourite for these kinds of jobs. Now, I think we do have herbicide because I remember buying some recently. Um, there might still be a very, uh, like, 51 litres remaining at the uh, shop. Or did I not? Wait, what? Am I on about... Maybe I'm thinking about something else? Weird. Well, that's clearly not enough. Do we... Mm, what? <laughs> I thought we had more than that. I might have bought some and then, uh, see it doesn't even say we have none. Oh wait, hang on. I bought a small one, if uh, memory serves correctly. We do have one, it's at the shop. It literally has, if I'm not mistaken, it will have 50 some liters in it. Let's just have a cheeky peek though, because I reckon that is the case. If it is, then we'll just start the job. And then uh, 57 liters, apologies. And um, we can actually pick it up by hand, it said, but no, we'll, uh, we'll empty this first and then we'll go to the shop. Oh, no, that doesn't make sense either. Ah, bugger it. Let's just see how far we get with 58 litres and then we'll go to the shop. Just if I buy a fresh one, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to uh, be another 57 litres stuck in. So, we'll see. Anyways, let's head down there now and see. So, I think that's the only one that needs doing. Yeah, that one will be drilled, so we don't need to worry about that. But yeah, just that one there really does need doing. 
Um, with our funds, actually, we could throw some bees down. Here's what I'll do. I will, uh, I'll do, I'll start this myself. I'll start the job myself. Let me confirm that we can drive on this field still. Wonderful. So we'll get this uh, sorted here. I'll start the job, run to the shop, get the herbicide, and then I'll continue the job with a helper until we sort out the bees or something. And then we can go from there. So let's get that fired up. Get that going as well. And we are spraying our herbicide. Our eco-friendly herbicide, of course. Very eco-friendly. Right? Right, right. Okay, so yeah, 58's going a bit further than I initially thought. That's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. Yeah, look, there's only the one beehive over here, and being that this is... Oh, no, this is oat anyways, but we've got canola nearby. If anyone else has used these hives, do you know if the reason we're getting such low honey is because of the hives themselves? Like, that's why I want to make, like, build a lot of them, because I reckon it doesn't supply that much. They are quite small. Uh, versus like the big the big one that you can get but again it's not very uh, it's not very vintage right let's uh, head to the shop here now that that's done well we're not done but the job is out of herbicide so we will fill with this stupid 57 liters and then we'll have another 57 liters in another um, IBC sat at the shop but we might as well empty this one while we are here get in and well you know what we might as well buy a uh, a big one yeah the, the only difference is that uh, we're paying double the price but we're getting double the product and we'll use it anyway so if it's sat here I'd rather it be sat here with a thousand fifty seven than just fifty seven to be honest because yeah it's perfect a thousand liters so eventually we'll level that out but uh, for now this works fine and if we need more, we can just swing by the shop. Either way, it's there waiting for us. We will bring it back to the farm at some point, but it is handy to have there. Right, we might as well just cut straight across. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, straight across this one. Yeah, this is the same field. I don't know why I felt it, because everything feels like it's just a massive... Oh, you can see where it's been done. Beautiful. Everything, yeah, everything just feels more, much bigger when you're doing vintage because I've kept the kit quite small for all these, all these, uh, all this time. Right, so now we need to start this course again. Thirteen point five doesn't sound right. It's because it's not. Bugger it every time. New course. Let's do a trio of headlands. Keep it sharpish. Uh, right. Okay, maybe two is best. Yeah, that's best. Close, start. I should just crack on from where we are here. Absolutely amazing, that is. Thank you, helper. I know that costs money, and I know we could save the money doing the job ourselves, but we might end up finishing it ourselves anyways. I just really want to add to our... Uh, beehive collection which is lost on me now where is it oh bloody hell it's here silly monkey now uh, meters wise if that's 12 meters just for reference let's try and sort out how wide we get right okay if that's 12 meters then that's 12 meters and these go Oh, I swore it said. Where did it say that it was it in the mod description? Possibly, I thought it was like 15 meters, which isn't that far, really. We might need to add more onto the other side, but anyways, let's do what we did over on the other side as well. Um, over here, I'll just show you, in case you haven't seen. Uh, we do have the two running here. I did say I want a third, so I'll run it probably like that. Might as well put that one now. Actually, we could do four of them. Just keep that whole field kind of, not blocked off, but a bit, uh, sort of somewhat separate. 
Yeah, we can put these nice and close together. Oops. Cool. I'll go on then. Hopefully gets rid of that bush. Nice. Okay, bye-bye bush. And look at that. Bloody beehives for days. I don't think I'll put a... F oh, hang on. That could work, though. Go on, then. Because, yeah, we're not going to be coming in too wide on that side. And while we have the cash... I know, I know, we have loans and all that rubbish as well, but... Money coming in soon, I promise. Cool. Look at that. <laughs> That's so uh, overkill, I reckon, but it is done. Now, how many are we putting here? So we don't want to block this path, so we'll just go down this way. Um, it does look quite crooked, but I know it's just the angle of the field and all. So let's put... So we're down to 16,000 somehow all of a sudden. Um, we'll place that one there. We'll put another one... there and let's go one more or two more one more maybe oh no oh that one's a bit crooked in it here we'll try and uncrookify it they're going this way again uh that's four ow Let's go one more then. There we go. That's the only pallets that I plan on moving on the farm is uh, is honey pallets anyways. So there we go. They're all uh, staggered. All right. As long as that didn't affect the the crops, it's fine. Yeah, it's a bit funny that the way that that's gone up every time. Oh no. Ooh, that was... Okay, well, that's... I didn't... Yeah, that's fine. It's all right. It's near, but not too near. Fantastic. Right, well, that will really start producing the honey now. Um, this is going well. That's wasting herbicide at the moment. Yes, we're going to stop that because... I reckon... Hello, stop, please. There we go. Yeah, we'll just cancel the whole bloody thing, and I'll get up to the top here. Um, yeah, it's just because we did a, a bit, and I don't need to waste more herbicide uh, as it is. So let's go and get this done in a nice little time lapse. I believe that's the last bit. I only say that because it got a bit difficult to see at times. But uh, you know what? That is absolutely fine. Bloody Nora, does that ever look like rubbish? Look at all the mix mash colors, but then you go like this, and it looks much nicer. Much, much nicer. So what all have we got? We've got oat on the go. Here we have canola, if I'm not mistaken. Canola up here as well. These two are harvested and the alfalfa, which we will deal with in the next month, uh, which will probably also be the next episode as well. Uh, but yeah, we are all done here, actually. I will head to the shop. I'm going to head to the shop, put as much of this other herbicide as I can do, and uh, I might get it shifted over to the farm, but I might just leave it there because 
yeah, it's it's fine. It's not a big problem. And uh, and then we'll make sure that everything is good before we end the month. All right, we've got our herbicide loaded up, which is good for the next time we need it. So we'll just tuck it in here. Um, I know we have more more places for uh, storing kit, but uh, this is just our main sort of storage uh, shed anyways. Um, but I want to kind of get in the habit of using... I mean, this area is fine too, but I prefer it more as a thoroughway. And then, oh my, that's okay. I thought it was a much bigger pile than initially anticipated or than I thought. Uh, but I think everything else is pretty much good to go. I just want to confirm animals before we end. Um, they're fine. They don't produce it that quickly. And the fact is, anything extra will now start to sell. The only... Uh, male that we really want is the cockerel here the rooster because when the time comes we'll need another rooster essentially um, but that's fine and then but that also means no other males will pr will will uh, be produced which is good but all the extra ones will be sold off because we just don't have room for them anymore uh, these one oh wow our both our brown swiss and our holsteins seem ready to pop in the next month uh, which is really exciting i reckon that this number will start to go down much quicker when we get 10 more cows in even if they're calves uh, milk production is just unreal at the moment i don't know what to do thank goodness it's a massive capacity because they are producing milk quicker than we can produce things with the milk and um somebody did mention oh go on sell some milk you know from time to time since you have so much and i think that might be something we have to do the price right now is pretty good uh but it will go up again uh soon in to february january something like it's just say october but i'm sure it'll be fine to wait um yeah it shouldn't be a big deal but that is a nice chunk of cash there when that time comes but we do have the constant selling of butter and cheese and uh, old style mustard which makes it completely worth it especially right now uh, as we are selling as we go and it's the best time for it as well uh, we'll have no potatoes but rather potato soup eventually we will get that uh, continued on let's check this Cereals producing, canola oil is producing, uh, potatoes, right, we did all the soup, I think we, didn't we buy it, make some and already sell it, that's what we bought the uh, forklift for, if I remember correctly, um, and then yeah, we've got the canola oil we can sort when we need to, cereal as well, look at that, we've got half a pallet, oh, if it's a thousand, it might be more, but anyways, that is it for this episode, now I know that was a, a rather, um, not uneventful i mean we had lots we had to get done but uh yeah i was hoping to get into november but that happens sometime oh right the main event bloody bees everywhere absolute a bee sanctuary look at all these bees bees for days bees here for days and bees over there for days. you can even see them from here look at that you can see the five high, the five sets of highs on the hillside there but they do have to be level that's why they leveled out like that so anyways we will uh see how the rest of this um this winter goes because this will be our next move in the next month we will get this uh, chopped down and turned to hay yeah just hay that's all we need from it is hay and um oh, i was gonna jump up there but i completely missed so nope can't get up there just wanted to see our lovely alfalfa field in the sun yeah, with its beautiful purple leaves, purple flowers rather, not leaves, the flowers. And there we go. So yeah, we'll leave in view with this absolutely, well, every view is nice. Like, do we do that view? Do we do this one? Let's do this one here. Got balloons, planes, possibly trains, and who knows what else is to come. Anyways, that, that does it for October and for this episode. So thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you have done, a cheeky thumbs up always helps out the channel. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. So until the next one, please do take care and bye for now.